What is up, guys? It's the Biopsychosocial, and welcome back to Behind the Songs for episode number two. Uh, before we jump into the song that we're going to be talking about, uh, I'd like to first say, if you haven't already seen on Instagram, I'm going to be dropping a new single on February 13th titled Trust is an Illusion, and it has a great feature, uh, an artist named Ethan Asher. If you haven't checked out Ethan Asher's work, you should totally do so. Um, in the next few days or so, I'm going to be putting up a link uh, to pre-save that single. So make sure you go and pre-save that single. And uh, do me a favor, hit the, the follow button on Spotify for me. So yeah, let's uh, dive right in to the song, Till I'm Nothing. She said, why you never sober? She said, why you always smoking? Show her my true colors, I'm a loner. Girl, you fuck me over. So, yeah, um, I was in a relationship and it was rocky. Like, we'd have our ups and we'd have our downs, just like all relationships, really. But, um... Yeah, we would break up and then get back together and we were just in this constant cycle of breaking up and getting back together. Well, um, as you could tell, it weighed on both of our mental healths. Um, and she had more healthy coping mechanisms than me to deal with that stress. Um, and that's a, that's a great thing for her. Um, for me to, to cope with that, uh, that constant friction, um, I turned to uh, less help, healthy coping mechanisms such as uh, drinking and um, smoking weed and, you know, uh, that, that kind of thing. And ultimately, that just worsened my mental health. Um, and I'm kind of contemplating, like, or saying, like, this relationship is the reason I'm doing this stuff when in actuality, it wasn't why I was doing all this stuff. It was just a lie that I told myself to allow me to do this um so yeah when i say because girl you fucked me over it's kind of like a rhetorical uh response there because it wasn't necessarily just her i was ultimately doing it to myself as well the boy with emotions changing like the weather boy high boy floating like a feather boy and yeah, yeah. trying to forget about you but i can't right now so i guess i gotta so I start off the verse by saying nether boy with emotion changing like the weather boy. So during this time, I uh, obviously had great ups and great downs. Um, so in this particular moment, I'm talking about um, how depressed and how down I am. Uh, nether meaning down below, right? Like the nether world. Um, so uh, I'm talking about how depressed I am and my emotions are constantly changing from being like really happy to to really sad and some of you might uh recognize that as uh bipolar disorder so yeah i, I was going through this whole cycle of you know having my ups and my downs and uh ultimately i was able to seek help and, and i got the help that i needed um to kind of level that out so my highs weren't as high and my lows aren't as low um yeah. Girl, what the fuck am I supposed to do? When you were the one I was used to. Dazed and confused, I know I'm bipolar. Sent you on a roller coaster. But... So there's the shout out to uh, bipolar disorder. And yeah, I realized that, you know, maybe that she wasn't causing all of this. It was myself uh, causing everything that w was happening in this relationship and that wasn't fair to her i was kind of putting her on an emotional roller coaster of my ups and downs and i was projecting that onto her which was causing her to have her ups and downs and yeah and i just realized that i didn't want that for her and i respected her enough to not do that and ultimately that's one of the reasons that 
uh, we ended up breaking it off. Uh, but yeah, since then, as I've stated before, I was, I've been able to uh, better myself and get back to um, what fun some folks would call uh, like a, a normal. Um, but to me, there's really no such thing as what's normal because what's normal for me isn't really normal for you and vice versa. But yeah. You have to do me like that. I know I did have to do you like that. I'm lying on my back, thinking, How can I get you back? How can I get you back? So, yeah, going back to this relationship, um, she was doing things to me that I didn't like, and I was doing things to her that she didn't like, and there was always that, that friction there. And yeah, it's basically, you know, you didn't have to treat me like this and I didn't have to treat you like this. So maybe we just like aren't a good match. But at the same time, as I talked about uh, in episode one, um, you're inside this relationship and then you all of a sudden like break it off. And there comes a moment usually where you're like, damn, like I really want that person back. So that's me um, thinking about uh, in in one of my depressive states, like, damn, like, how can I get her back? Because I really, really want her back. Don't want to love me. She just wants to fuck me. She just wants to use me till I'm nothing. She don't want to love me. She just wants to fuck me. She just wants to use me till I'm nothing. So, you know, I went from, you know, how can I get you back to reminding myself that I actually don't want her back. Like, so she was just like using me and like, I don't want to step back into a relationship where I was being used. And um, I don't want to step back into a relationship where I was worsening her mental health and she was worsening mine. So why would I want to get back into that relationship where uh, that might continue because we just aren't a good match. Why are you never sober? She said, why are you always smoking? Show her my true colors, I'm a loner. Girl, you fuck me over. So one line that I didn't talk about was, um, show her my true colors, I'm a loner. So, uh, in the midst of all this stuff that was going on, this relationship trouble, um, this trouble with uh, my mental health worsening from, you know, not only this relationship, but everything else that was going on uh, in my life, I really became a loner. Like, I didn't want help from anyone. I just wanted to be by myself. I just wanted to be alone. Like, I was very edgy and irritated if people, like, tried to step into my life and, and help me. Um, ultimately that just, uh, made me more depressed, more anxious, uh, and gave me more problems. So I learned that it's okay to rely on other people and to get help from other people. Um, and I really thank my mom for that. She, uh, really helped me and really, uh, was able to open me up to the idea of like, you know, it's okay to like seek help. Like if you need help, like that's okay. And yeah, so I ultimately was able to, to get better. Overthinking, drinking and talking. I don't want to live this life I'm living. I don't want to live this life alone. So girl, I'm begging you come back. So there's that idea of, you know, um, not becoming, like, trying to uh, come out of my comfort zone and become how I used to be, not a loner anymore. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm begging her to come back home because in my mind at that time, I would think that if I go back, like, everything we'll go back to normal and we'll go back to the happy times that we had before all of this stuff happened. Um, and as I've talked about in the past, like ultimately in reality, that's 
probably not the case of what's going to happen. Before you say no, just know that I can't take this path you chose. Time to nod and hold my breath. Hope for the best, I'm hoping for death. Cause when I die, I'ma haunt you. So I could be with you forever. Cause when I die, I'ma haunt you. So I could be with you forever. So. Yeah, um, at one of my ultimate lows, um, I really was struggling with, uh, like, contemplating suicide. Like, it's one of those topics that I feel like it, if you bring it up, it's, like, real touchy. Like, people don't want to, like, ask you about it. People don't want to, like, uh, make you upset or, um, you know, anything like that. And it's just a really touchy subject. And um, then there's other people on the other side that, like, you know, you're just doing this for attention, whatever. Like, so I, I think his, his suicide's a real touchy subject, but it's something that needs addressed. Like, the, the reason that, su one of the reasons that suicide rates are, are high right now um, is just because, like, we're not willing to address it. It's such a, such a touchy subject. And I think we need to reverse that and, you know, really start talking about, like, suicide and what's causing it and like why people feel the way they do and feel like that they don't have hope um in this case in the case of the song um i am talking about you know me contemplating suicide uh and yeah it it really ultimately had to do with that relationship and going back to that relationship and thinking like you know i don't want her back but i do want her back but if I go back, I'm going to be hurt. And if I don't go back, I'm still going to be hurt because I want her back. And it was just this whole like, you know, convoluted thing that trying to think about just like twisted your mind in knots. And I was like, all right, if like I end it, like I'll get out of this like convoluted process and I won't have to think about it anymore. And you know what? S screw it. If I become a ghost <laughs> i'll get to spend time with her anyhow like i'll i'll get to to watch over and be by her side anyhow so if you die i'm i'm gonna haunt you i'm gonna be with you wanna love me. she just wants to fuck me she just wants to use me till i'm nothing she don't wanna love me she just wants to fuck me she just wants to use me till i'm nothing why you never so? She said, Why you never so? She said, Why you always smoke? She said, Why you always smoke? Show them my true colors, I'm alone. Show them my true colors, I'm alone. So, yeah, that's the story of the song Till I'm Nothing. Um, you know, if you're struggling with any um, mental health problems, please i can't stress this enough please seek help like um being a, a loner or you know not seeking help and just wanting to be by yourself doesn't help anything at all um but yeah if this song helped you out in any way or you um would just like to um state something go ahead and put it down in the comments i'd really appreciate it and i uh will respond to you so with that being said, this is the end of episode two, and next Friday I will be posting episode three, so uh, be ready for that. Thank you for watching.